this school, which is known as the Beaux Arts de Paris, is actually the oldest art school in activity in the world. It was created in the 17th century by Louis XIV under the name of the Royal Academy of Painting and Sculpture, and it became what we know as the Beaux Arts de Paris school, as it is. Amongst our alumni, you can find people like Matisse or Brancusi, for example, but also all the Chinese masters of the early 20th century. We're at the very heart of Paris, in front of the Louvre. It's a two hectares of pure beauty. It's not only an art school, it's an educational art complex. We have a publishing company, there's a building devoted to exhibitions. This makes the Beaux-Arts de Paris a very different art school. It's really part of the art world of the city of Paris, but also abroad. Such a magnificent architecture, of course, it has some drawbacks. Buildings get old, and so it has a huge project for innovation that has to be started from now to readapt, adjust you know, those stones into the future. Welcoming partners has always been a very important part to develop our network, I think that Ralph Lauren became involved with this restoration project because first of all, even if he's not French, he's obviously a Parisian and most of all a citizen of Saint-Germain-des-Prés, which is a city within the city. So it was a kind of obvious match. Also, we needed such a global brand to fulfill our ambitions to become a global art school again. The renovation of this space is a kickstart for a much more ambitious program, which is the technological development of the school. From this, we are going to develop activities which are linked to the international art world. I think we needed a partner for our future, and that's what we are able to do with Ralph Lauren.